Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Cookie Run The Darkest Night Overview. I love the overall vibe of this game. I don't know if it was based on the Shrek gingerbread one. Apparently this whole series, franchise or whatever is already known. I don't know from where, <laughs> but any like most ambience gameplay I'm all about. So Cookie Run The Darkest Night is an action adventure game where as a freshly baked cookie you need to escape the witch's castle using the power of friendship and overcome the darkest night by defeating the darkest lord. Love the whole vibe, especially because we're gonna be literally inside that cookie with its height and perspective of the world which doesn't really happen that often in VR. Not only everything will be scaled to us, but I suppose it's also easier to make because it's a fantasy setting so you can't really compare anything to real life situations. I'm kinda surprised this is gonna be a first person game cause normally stuff like that is thrown into the third person perspective and we steer some character but here we're literally inside. Hide it. A little bit confused why it's called chapter 1, so is it gonna be like a periodically released project or the storyline is so long that it had to be split in few parts? Problem is now this is scheduled to be 30 bucks, so let's say the whole series would have 3 parts. That makes a ton of money to spend on a game that I've never heard before nor is anything of the major franchise, so I don't know what's happening here. Granted, I absolutely love the art style and just everything is custom made. It's like every environment is unique and has its own theme going on alongside, I presume, physics mechanics in terms of combat or just some hand movements. But overall, looks to be very promising and I hope it Delivers. Let's become the Ginger Brave. Ginger Brave, wake up. You will despise me, but you are destined to destroy us. Ginger Brave, gather the soul and be brave. And yet, here you are once more, born again and again. This impossible task. Homie, you can. We're sorry. And I, I will destroy you time and time again for all eternity. They are waiting. It's time. You're our only hope. <gasps> Where am I? What's going on? Why is it so hot? Am I the only one awake? Wait! That smoke is moving! That must mean there's a way out of here! <laughs> that was a very nice cinematic. <laughs> it's too hot! I need to follow the smoke! Looks like I've gotta climb up! <laughs> <laughs> the sound effects. What are those things? No! They're eating cookies! There's gotta be something on the floor. This thing looks flimsy, but it'll do for now. Stop it. Gotta take care and not get burned. Rest in peace. More of them? Alrighty then, bring it on! Oh. That's like the VR instinct. I can't stay here any longer. I need to go up. <laughs> Can I like change the speed of the rotation? It's the fastest. Do you have cookie holsters? I don't get really why we're getting blacked out. Easy, we could have just go over the ledge. A door! And it's open! I'm free! Hello? Hmm. 
I grow tired of this. Be gone and learn your place, worm. Hey, what's the big idea? Uh, it's too hot. I'm getting dizzy. Hey, over here! We need to leave before we get caught. Hurry! Uh oh, there's no way I can make it through here. Use something to stop the planes! Hurry! Jump! Jump! What? A jump. How you feeling? Uh, far from a perfectly baked cookie, that's for sure. You were in the oven for too long, but I've got just the thing. Uh, here, take this. Huh. Huh? Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I packed some meat jellies. It'll help you get back on your feet in no time. Right chest. Oh, I know from behind. It's a backpack after all, no? A full on inventory. That's nice. It is near my mouth. Do I not understand something? Wow! That hit the spot! Thank you! Soon to celebrate. We still need to get out of here. Look over there. Are they cookies? What are they wearing? They're soldiers of the Darkest Lord Cookie, and they rule the castle with an iron fist. Stay quiet and follow me. The Darkest Lord Cookie? Who's that? A cookie who stopped you from escaping. Keep moving. I'll tell you more later. Okay, but... <clears throat> uh, by the way, what's your name? Ah, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Wizard Cookie. <laughs> and you are... No, oh, actually, let's save the introductions until we actually escape from here. So this meets interaction. We can take the ladder down. I had to bring the meat to my mouth, like the end of the bone. So not everything has a collision. It seems like the perspective is crazy. Like really cool looking. But also there's gonna be a full inventory. I don't know if I understand this. Darkest Lord Cookie shouldn't be here anymore. Now's our chance. The soldiers seem to be extra vigilant today, as if they were ordered to take every precaution. I don't know about the scrambling mechanics. Work to our advantage. 
Grab one of those candy canes. You'll need a reliable weapon. Wow, it fits perfectly in my hands. As if it was made just for me. Are there also statistics and durability? So, I should have holsters, no? Right. Now's our chance to make our escape. Ah, wizard cookie! Ah. 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 Wizard cookie, wake up! <laughs> what the? Oh, my head. Huh? Was I knocked out? What about the soldiers? Nothing to worry about. I took care of them. You fought off the soldiers with just a candy cane? Why didn't you run? Because you helped me. And this time, I helped you. That's what friends are for, right? That was really brave of you. You just might be the ginger brave foretold in the great prophecy. A uh, prophecy? Yes. I came here to rescue you after receiving a prophecy from Prophet Cookie. The details will be explained later. We need to be extra careful from now on. I'm just testing uh, if we can store stuff. Manually, but we can, we so it's nice. And now I accidentally consumed it, but where's my HP? Do we have meat on our hips or something? Why? Okay. Enter you fall away? I just kept spamming. Aha! You've got quite the aptitude for combat. We still have a long way to go. Let's pick up the pace. Thing is, I'm not totally sure what's collectible or not, like... It blends with the environment, which I guess it's okay. But maybe really the perspective is screwed. <laughs> he should be smaller, I feel like, no? Yeah, we'll see, it's... Something I've been there. <laughs> How much further? Keep your head down! Right 
think we're in the clear. Gotta keep an eye out for them. Let's head down. Hurry! This way! What's up? Some extra stuff. But where's our HP? I must be blind. the attack pattern What? Uh, now. here whoa what's that it's a terrarium the witch started growing small creatures and life forms in these there's a choco drop in there it seems so sad should we set them free we're just cookies if we want to free them we need to go inside ourselves it's not safe to go barging in without knowing if it's safe First, let's assess the situation. A proper analysis to see if it's really safe to get in there. Then... Hmm. Yes. No, 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 wait. It might... Maybe? Is there... It could be. Yes, I, I suppose... I don't know. Well... What the? Wow! Is this what the outside world looks like too? Now, where'd that Chaco drop go? Ah! Ah! Moldy spores! And there's a magic circle behind them! Okay. So still, where's my HP? like a bomb, I guess. Yeah. 
Choco Drop? You want to bust out of here? Okay, well, I need to finish here. I think the game overall is pretty cute. Very high level of creativity in terms of just creating <laughs> environments and fantasy worlds. Comparing to like other adventure games, oh, there's a uh, heavy favorite thing going on. You have like the inventory system, which is new, but it should not be new because this is very much important to have a full on exploration and then choices of what you can do. Even the weapons have their own statistics, so that's cool, like in the RPG perspective. I'm not really sure about the movement mechanics still, especially the climbing, because there was definitely a way of making things more smoother. There are no physics going on, but there are some interactions that are fine by me. So far it's pretty cool. Maybe that might be the case of just growing into the gameplay and the ambience to actually fully enjoy it. But as a new entry of an adventure game, like, uh, this is pretty fun. <laughs>